Good morning. Greetings from the other side of the Lucker Bridge. It's the right side, of course, of the Lucker Bridge, although people in Swansea have yet to discover that. The only person that I know who's actually come across and tried it out is Matt Evans, who comes uh, on a Saturday morning, sits in his car, keeps the windows up, but at least he's here. We're living in very strange times at the moment. People are even calling it unprecedented. It's though the world has stopped and is holding its breath and the future is not clear and it's almost as though we're in darkness really. But new birth always starts with a preparation in darkness. For example, the beginning of the Jewish day is the evening which goes into the morning. Pregnancy starts with nine months darkness for the baby. The seed falling into the ground and dying falls into darkness before it springs up with new shoots and eventually fruit. The caterpillar in a cocoon uh, is in darkness before the beautiful butterfly emerges. And at the beginning of um, Genesis, Genesis for, uh, chapter 1 verse 2, it talks about darkness spreading all over the earth. And then of course there was creation after that. And each day that God created started with the evening and went into the morning. So it, it is God's pattern that the new, the new chapter, the new season, the new day begins with darkness. So we are, I think, in a period of darkness now during this lockdown time. But it's not unprecedented because there are many times in the Bible where there's been a sort of lockdown. Noah in the ark would be one. Uh, he was in for a year before he came out into the new creation that God had made. The Israelites for 400 years in Egypt as they've been reformed into a nation. The Israelites for 40 years in the desert as God took Egypt out of them and then prepared them for the promised land. The nation of Israel went into exile for 70 years uh, because they were being, it was punishment, but it was really to bring them to their senses, to realize that God loved them and, and had a, a, a covenant promises for them. And then they came back to the promised land. And the dispersed Jews after AD 70, 2000 years of dispersion, but they were finally brought back to the promised land. So even during punishment, God always holds out hope. Um, punishment or, or, or preparation or whatever it is, it is finite. There's a beginning and an end. So how do we use these periods of darkness and waiting? Well, he's preparing us for the next chapter. So let's not say, oh, I can't wait until we get back to normal. The new, the new is not going to be normal that we know it. It's going to be new normal. It's the beginning of a new season. For example, one in four people are now watching religious services and one in 20, many young people, are turning to prayer. So let's get rid of what's, what's not needed to prepare for the new. Steve and I have been going through the garage and we've sorted that out now and the next, next thing we have to do is the loft, which is a much bigger job. But spiritually, we need to do that as well. We need to be getting rid of what might have been useful for the the past but is not going to be useful in the future. For instance, a butterfly jettisons the chrysalis, a baby gets rid of the umbilical cord and the afterbirth is not needed in the new. So my prayer for myself and I would think for all of us is prepare and change me Lord. We just know that we want to go deeper with him but my experience is that if we pray that oh, take me deeper into you, Lord, prayer, then everything after that seems to go wrong. And what's happening is actually God is actually going deep into us and bringing stuff up to the surface that needs to be dealt with. It's like the silversmith who heats up the lump of silver and as it turns black, he scrapes off that black, turns the heat up even more, scrapes off that black until he can see his face fully, uh, fully reflected in the silver. But the times of heating and scraping are not easy at all. In fact, it can be extremely painful. And it can almost feel like death sometimes. We think, is this the everything? Is this the end of everything? But it's not. It's the beginning of the new. So let us pray as we finish this session. Lord, change us to be ready for the future chapter. Give us the Holy Spirit promptings about what is for the future and what is no longer needed from the past and give us the courage to respond to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Goodbye. We look forward to seeing you all properly one day when this lockdown is over.